Okay, good evening. Uh, thank you very much for getting me here. And uh, uh, it's a topic that uh, I have reserved for a long time to speak uh, because uh, nowhere is there a place in India, nowhere an institution which is for the heart unless when it's already damaged. <laughs> All the institutions we have built for 60 years seems to be going the mind way and comparing that this institution does a better mind job than the previous, uh, I think somewhere we are in the wrong direction. So I thought I'll uh, look at that. So the question to ask is, is there a primary place for heart in technical entrepreneurship? Okay. What are we speaking here? Uh, everyone has experienced, rejoiced, endured, even well-documented, successful entrepreneurship, Infosys and TCS, which almost seems to run the academic program. Uh, but not many know that there are more interesting case like Walsh and Hirachan, who actually was doing Make in India 80 years back, till he was uh, derailed and, uh, by the previous governments. And now after eight years, we wake up and try doing Make in India. Uh, many are also uh, aware of social entrepreneurship, which is a catchphrase now, but it's probably uh, part of the culture and at family levels that has happened. Uh, some of you may know Baba Amte may know, but uh, more are familiar with Sat uh, Kailash, who incidentally or accidentally or won the Nobel Prize. We have uh, antennas for the Nobel Prize, yeah, okay. So what do we learn from this? The so-called successful technical entrepreneurs, mainly plants. Everybody is busy thinking and everybody's uh, looking at uh, uh, managing material, ideas, processes, etc. Mainly plants and capital. Uh, but really the subtle focus is making money. So most of them want to be good Robin Hoods. Uh, you don't have to rob somebody, but you can, uh, you know. Uh, money flow, cash flow and profits. The way they start and the way they end is different, but in between they'll be talking a lot of cash flow and profits. And shareholders are gods. Okay? I mean, you have to somehow please the shareholder, uh, even if the whole world goes to dogs. And the recent uh, Bombay High Court judgment last week saying to the corporate hospitals, if you don't keep the, some of the beds for the poor, better to hand over the entire hospital to the government. It will not do a good job, but at least it will stop people from getting robbed. Okay? Uh, it involves plan and cash flow, so obviously anxiety and worry. That's one reason why there are so many corporate hospitals for the uh, for the heart in Bangalore now, after the successful entrepreneurship that's gone on. All are technical. Uh, and experience is central here, so you can write a good book. And even if your company doesn't do well, the book may sell well. And Vijay Malia is an exceedingly good potential author, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he will, it will be a prescribed book in IAMs and NIT. Definitely, I'm very sure about that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there are, it will not be elective, it will be a compulsory course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what about social entrepreneurship? We're dominated by factors of people, justice, environment, quality of life, quality of governance, empowerment, justice, etc. Plans to manage humans. So the primary focus is humans, issues, then come the resources. Something to do with the rules of life, saying, can I live better? NITK has problem. I mean, you have a sea on that side and it rains heavily, but between the monsoon and the next monsoon, you will you will not have water. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, the obvious and uh, primary focus is welfare and quality of life. Sometimes to the promoters more than the this thing, but stakeholders. The world is very important. Stakeholders are important, and you will not be giving them bonus shares or high returns on your shares very rarely cash, but you will give some goodwill and some visibility, many times frugal offering. Since heart is the main initiator and much used faculty of this body here, it results in fatigue and some blood pressure. The feeling is central here, you can, you have a chance of winning the Nobel Prize, yeah? yeah. So when do we start these ventures? A uh, sense of timing is important. Uh, Narayan Murthy couldn't have started Infosys earlier, now he can't start another Infosys. So you will realize that all this entrepreneurship is also a sense of uh, timing, an appropriate space. 
Uh, you can't do an Infosys in Boston in the, or even Tokyo. The rents will take away the first 10 years of your investment. Okay? More relevant are the boundary conditions. When I say boundary conditions, these are socio-economic, etc. And war is a very good time for entrepreneurship. Today, Syria, I think, is the best place for social entrepreneurship. <laughs> And uh, it really brings out the best in humans and etc. Also political, you look at India, maybe we had 10,000 good leaders by 1940. After 47, one or two, after that none. <laughs> okay. So this entrepreneurship actually leads to leadership, a good example is Mohandas, Karmachan, Gandhi, and Nelson Mandela. Amazing. I mean, Nelson Mandela couldn't have been what he is but for the apartheid and 29 years in jail. Okay? So, these are the boundary conditions which create leadership. Real leadership, genuine leadership. Not the inherited and the family leadership that you see. Okay? Uh, there are bad cases. Uh, for example, the worst case in the world is probably Robert Clive. Right? Uh, you must know, I mean, he's, he's a mentor to Germany, yeah? okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why he went to England now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Winston Churchill, amazingly notorious uh, entrepreneur, yeah? He ordered Gandhi to be starved to death in Marwada jail. He is indirectly responsible for killing three million people in Bengal during the World War II. So, but he's a Nobel laureate and a prime minister, yeah? <laughs> Of course, Bush family, amazing. I mean, you can write six collected works of Bush family, uh, ranging back, and of course, you'll miss out because you know the Bush one and two, but more important character is his grandfather, Prescott Bush, who taught this and put them, put his DNA into them, yeah? <laughs> or oh, even worse is the British royal family, which even two years before uh, Nelson Mandela was released, uh, the Queen had the uh, the audacity to say Nelson Mandela is a terrorist. Now, after his release and he became the president of South Africa, we should know who the terrorist really is, and they continue. Okay? Yeah. So, this kind of thing and realizing what's happening, uh, we realized that we were in IT and let's try something. So, the IT honeymoon years, 1990 to 2000, you could do anything with knowing little. After 2000, you can do anything without knowing anything. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Y2K is uh, yeah. for as, uh, bug fixing. The greatest skill in India was bug fixing. Okay? And it's a gold mine for engineering colleges to produce bug fixers, Y2K specialists, dot commers. So that's when the bubblegum culture also came. Uh, people were practicing how to blow big bubbles. And, uh, and in this situation, about 70% of the lack of students across the country were not able to hitch on. They were the great middle class. The great Indian middle class has phenomenal talent and the greatest inertia put together. Yeah? So we need to unleash that. This is really what we did. We realized that uh, 70,000 odd will find the footpaths in Bangalore, which were livable then. There was a footpath and they could live those days. <laughs> Today it's all filled with two wheelers. Okay? Yeah. Uh, they were also the outcomes of caste converts, meaning people like me and my colleagues. He just came from IIT, said, we are not in computer science. He says, you are from IIT, so you can teach computer science. We have started a brand, you teach something. So that's the outcome. Uh, some nomads, bars, and wanderers whose radars were tuned elsewhere are observing the middle class and what's going on. We realize hard rain is going to fall, even though Dylan composed that many years back. Okay? Yeah. Uh, we started a company called Infotech Innovations and Research Lab. It had a funny beginning, it had a funny existence and a funny end. It was hard based low self-budget. We didn't go to IAM, so we were not taught how to live on others' money. Okay? Yeah. Uh, very interesting, the entry was without interview. Uh, potential employees had to make a case for needing either academic, social, economic, IT, rarely, emotional or mental rehabilitation. This was the entry criteria. Uh, because of unreasonable demand, we had about 300 youngsters where we could post 50 in the, in the pockets that we had. So we operated three shifts that also helped people who didn't have a footpath. Okay? Yeah. Mm. Uh, salary was by discretion and paid to those who really deserve with somebody. And those who have placements were dishonored. By 1998, Infosys, Sask, and everybody said, no, we can't re respect our placement because the IT downturn has happened in US. Okay. 
This is a place where somebody gets uh, cold and cough there, these people get uh, viral fever here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so these uh, bright students were handled with caution. Uh, CO was very good. He had 50% uh, of his subject still left after six years in engineering. Uh, he was so irresponsible, he was a good choice for CO. Yeah? Uh, more than 75% of the people who came couldn't make it into the mainstream, somewhere like this, and we, the nomads, would pitch in when it matters. And what kind of pitching in? We pitched in with system, skill, knowledge, love and care. Okay? A little money. We did hand holding. We did some interesting things. Uh, when your purpose is strong, not just the government rules, the gods will bend their rules for you. So in 1998, uh, we were one of the few people to have license for VXWorks, which was 75 lakhs those days. We got it free, because the gods said, take it. And uh, our bad students were the only ones in India who knew VXWorks. The IITNs ones did not know, working also, okay, yeah. Uh, barring one, all the students graduated, some went to USA, one fellow is doing his PhD from the last 10 years. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to him after 2014. The company was formally closed, okay? Uh, by close, we had used about 15 lakhs of our personal money. Many of the people got together, paid something and said, okay, no profit, no loss, enjoy, go. And they are very good. Some went to IIT, IIC finally to get uh, finished their unfinished tasks. Uh, one, some went abroad, one is uh, faculty in Indian sort of space sciences, some have become entrepreneurs, and uh, it's not uh, a non-profit, unacceptable outcome. Is it, is it worth creating an oasis? What about halfway homes, who people who have invested in uh, education but not able to reach the shores? Uh, that's Shelter from the Storm, beautiful song by Dylan. That's really what you need. You're going to have a lot of storms, not the thunderstorms. You're going to have other storms. Thunderstorm means at least you'll get water. You will not have those, okay? Uh, no barriers to get started. You can see why all these companies put all kinds of nonsense barriers for your placement, okay? And if you want to judge people poorly on, on money, it's very bad, okay? They're very sensitive dimensions. If you want very objective dimensions, you can be a robot. These are the two nomads, uh, Dr. Chaklingam and myself, okay? So nobody wanted us in any company with this attire. We, we were jokingly called uh, Bin Laden Brothers, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so what to do next? What to do next? You have tasted success, you are going downhill, so you must go further and see where the bottom is, okay? Uh, you must uh, fail much more by world standards. We fail by India standards. We want to fail by world standards and find broader issue. The beautiful motivation for Gandhi, the book by Unto this last by Ruskin, whom she translated to Gujarati and titled it Sarvadaya. That's where his word came from. So we were looking at quality of life. Instead of opportunity, let's look at empowerment. Look at not unto, the, unto this last, unto this very, very last. Can you find the last person on earth and do something? They are there in India. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and we looked at electricity. We started SOS, not SOS, Save Our Souls. It was more like Sayadri Energy Systems, which a company we started. And this is uh, generating electricity from uh, hilly regions, remote rural areas. And one of our uh, co-founders uh, unfortunately tested his turbine in Germany. Uh, then we realized this uh, test is good for PhD, but to make it work in India, you need uh, very Janta type. Okay, so these are the projects. Uh, very interesting. Kare, Kinko, Karlapad, Boda Manjari, these are not Boston. These are some of the most, almost remotest part and hostile part of the world. Okay? These are the project, you can see the workshop, I mean the power stations, one man power stations. Uh, poor, not very bad performance, 64, 70, 66. Who wants 90%? Nobody wants 90%. You want 90%, you need a person from IIT to manage it. 60, 64%, the tribals can manage. And anyways, it's free power. <laughs> Free power and IIT and Infosys will not go there, okay? <laughs> so these are the issues we had, attitudinal issue, lack of engineering skills, elite English culture where even Hindi is a handicap. We were working with people who don't know Hindi also. I mean, almost like the sign language we need to do. And these are the typical regions which can be supported. And uh, uh, electricity is a high quality of life factor, very liberating factor. Uh, this everybody knows, right? 
Everybody knows, but nobody knows it clearly. First thing, to begin with, they were not sure whether it's male or female. They were not sure whether if it's a female, she's pregnant or not. That's all the kind of confusions they had about the famous Mona Lisa. It still is having confusion. In our case, there is no confusion. This is our Mona Lisa. She's a tribal woman in a remote uh, Koraput district, Boda Manjari. She's switching on electricity for the first time in her life. And she said, we are not switching electricity. She said, we are switching on a new life. Okay, so that's really what it is. And this is interesting. Uh, you have a movie called Mad Max. You, have only, you can only go to movies. We don't, we have a Mad Man. Why go to Mad Max? Uh, he's a designer, come implementer. One man. See, all the teamwork is a joke. Teamwork means you need eight people to tell seven others that nobody is working. He lived with the tribals for three months. We designed and implemented it in Bangalore, transported it all the way to the for remote forest area, filled with naxals now, and implemented it, trained the tribals to manage on their own the electricity system, which, which unfortunately even the professionals cannot manage in, in a like MESCOM or whatever you have. Okay? So this is a send off for him. The entire tribal village has come to a small uh, a uh, passenger railway station in the middle of the night, it's 8, 5, 10th October, 15th October 2006. And uh, these are the nomadic uh, facilitators. Uh, Puneet is currently an invited professor in, uh, in faculty in IAS in Bangalore. Uh, Deepak is currently a professor in IA in Bangalore. And I am a nomad, okay, continue to be a nomad, okay. Uh, what was done is this, one of the lowest cost, cleanest electricity done. And many of you have paid and seen a fake and make believe version of this on screen where one famous star dancing up and down, making all of you to dance up and down after you pay your money, that's the Swadesh movie. Okay, so that's far better. Okay, so this is really what it is. You have only heart on one extreme, only mind. What you need is a balanced approach. There must be heart in every mind's entrepreneurship and every heart's man entrepreneurship needs a mind. That's really Buddha's middle path. Take one candle and light thousand more. Thank you very much. Thank you all of you and uh, the women of India who constitute the flesh and blood and the youngsters, but not from IIT, IAC and IAMs because they are not the flesh and blood, they are the cosmetics. Okay, so some people here. Teachers make the difference. I would regard four of my teachers whom I mentioned there, one of whom is teacher to many here. Thank you very much. Thank you all of you. <laughs>